254 channel. This is why in the morning the ladies breakfast show in this here channel. If you don't believe me, I told you, you don't even have to take my word for it. Just watch from Monday all the way through Friday. Different themes, different presenters, just different kind of sauce, and all of it is good. Trust. Hashtag is why in the morning. You can find us at Y254 on Facebook, Y254 channel on Twitter, Y254 underscore channel on Zeke, or I'm Minato Val, or at Kalami Val on everything. And it's that time where we celebrate a phenomenal human being and Leo Akazuji. And you gotta be nice to her because she's, she's really sweet. Yes, all right. What's her name? What did you introduce? Sasa. Please introduce yourself. Go ahead. Okay, my name is Shofena. I'm coming from Mokuru. I'm 24 years old. I'm a mom. I'm a mentor, a GBV champion, and also a community facilitator. When my mom do? Yes. Kweli? Yes. When my mom is in a car, what do you mean you're somebody's mom? How is that like though? How is motherhood? I'm quite intrigued by it. It's tough but amazing. But I'm not going to be I'm sure it's not easy to be a mother. I'm a You guys make it look easy. It's not that easy being a mom. Like it's a very book. But that's not why we're here, guys. That is not. Tell us a bit about yourself. Today, I want to talk about gender based violence mm -hmm. because it has been on the rise mm -hmm. since COVID started, mm -hmm. even before. Na bado sai GBV na endelea. Kuna mim ni mona juzi. I apologize. I'm a mim lord. Kuna mim ni mona juzi. Yeah. Uh, the thoughts in my head are just not going to wait fast. That white five on Facebook, white five on channel, on Twitter hashtag is why in the morning. That basically violence. Ni kama dem akionatali ham hamburugi ni kama ampendi. What kind of thinking is that? That is a myth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a very big one. Yes, and, and a not so good one. Not so good. Jojo misi imagine atina how, but that's not about me. Tell me about why this particular, this GBV, gender-based violence, have you been through it? And not really, mm -hmm. but where I come from, for example, mm -hmm. there are so many people undergoing GBV, like girls, young women, mm -hmm. because they're most vulnerable in the community. So mm -hmm. it's really touching, because babake, Ile extent, ile kichapo yenye atamstena endi shule, and it's so touching. Unaona labda, for example, mama na akona abusive husband. So at the end of the day, mwenye anomia ni mama na watoto. So I think people are not speaking out about the issue. I don't know because of fear or something, but. Ni poa kwa encourage watu vitu kama hizo wakipitia, it's good to speak out. Apo kwa nini mtoto kuchapo na babake, that's very surprising to me. That is also considered gender-based violence. Yes. Line iku hapi between discipline and violence? There is a form of discipline, kuna ile extent kenye mzazi aneza chapa mtoto. But when it comes to GBV, there are some forms of gender-based violence. Mm -hmm. One example is physical violence, mm -hmm. like kuchapa mtoto, hitting, mm -hmm. kumrushia kitu nina ineza mumiza, choking a person, that's physical violence. Mm -hmm. Kuna ile tu, yenye, labda for example, mzazi, tunonanga kwa news sa zingine, wazazi aneza choma mtoto with a pangamoto. Mokusudi. Yes. Uh -huh. That's a form of GBV. Hey. Yes. Okay. But again, nikifikiria kama kurusha slippers na kuchoma na panga, that's those are two different extremes. Yeah. But zote ni violence. Yeah. Uh, I can say e extent ya kuchoma na napanga, that's a uh, it's blending cattle living. Yeah. Like many many bebo nyama like for real. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Okay. So what other kinds of gender based violence are there? There is sexual violence and also economic violence, mm -hmm. social economic violence. Two ones in a social economic, two years and in a sound, kila kitu. What is social economic violence? 
social economic violence is like denying a person mm -hmm. let's say for example you're working mm -hmm. and maybe your husband is working so like buana ndio ako na cheo ya everything mm -hmm. like pesa yote ukileta kwa meza buana nachukua mm -hmm. that is social economic violence so me for example pia wakati unaenda kwa apply kazi mm -hmm. and then they are like looking down upon you where well, huwezi that is social economic violence because mm -hmm. i think everyone has a right to get whatever yenye mtu anataka mm -hmm. yeah na kukula fair tunajua kuna boy child anaashwa kuuliza kukula fair ni social economic violence no i don't think mbona so. mbona reverses <laughs> why is the opposite true and then this one is not true ama tumeonea sana eh hey, hapo umeonea but when it comes to social economic violence ni kama ku bribe mtu mhm mm wewe ndio uko na ile power ya everything could decide money mtatumia hivi mm -hmm. wewe haufai vitu kama hizo Tell me about sexual violence and and this is not just the obvious where you know someone is uh, asking for sexual favors when either you you're not willing or you're not old enough but this is interesting or oh, oh, quite out there concept and like you're legit married is mm -hmm. over and you refuse you know to consent and it's actually considered sexual violence yeah that is a form of rape actually wow yeah because when we talk about sexual violence we are talking about physically forcing someone to have sex without his consent mm -hmm. or her consent yeah so for example kama mtu ameolewa but hauna consent to have sex alafu mwanaume it's it's good i mean a bright place eh ni sawa but ile yenye mtu anaku force to have sex mm -hmm. kama hautaki that's mm -hmm. a form of rape but women don't speak out because ana hofia yes we are married how how will i start telling people my husband has raped me you see mm -hmm. yeah it's like those two cannot be in a sentence jo yes. ashakuwa ashakuwa mm -hmm. amelipa mahari mm -hmm. and then you're going there to report to the police station first watakucheka watakucheka na wakwambie rudi kwa bwana wako oi oi rudi kwenu hashtag is why in the morning okay I have a question about things like psychological violence. Yeah. Yeah, mali tu I don't know okay, let's use the scenario ya yeah, mzazi. Mm -hmm. So kwa mzazi meashina kikwambia you know you'll never amount to anything mm -hmm. oh hakuna mali unaenda hii life oh, mm -hmm. oh and I imagine mtoto kusikia kitu kama hiyo especially from someone mwenye anafaa kupenda na fa you know kujali and all these things can be quite traumatic. Yeah. So how to fix something like that is it just therapy you peer to remember what you said to fight ku liali asana when you're talking about psychological violence it's the same as emotional violence mhm vile tu umesema maybe mtu ana look down upon you anasema wewe wezi how fai you are ugly most people don't speak out also but i think yenye inaweza saidia sana hapo ni psychological help support mm -hmm. yeah what does that mean yani kuongea na mtu na trust does it have to be someone who is ameenda shule kusoma hizi vitu psychology or, or psychiatry ni lazima niende kwa nini kwa mtu yani anatoa pesa because also we like free things we can <laughs> mm -hmm. no it's not a must but unajua mtu akitampa na emotions zako anafanya mpaka self esteem yako irudi zero mm -hmm. you can imagine someone labda mtoto huwa a pity sana but the mom ana insist wewe mtoto wewe ni mjinga at the end of the day mtoto anakuwa tu zile za hata nikienda shule my mom anasema mimi ni mjinga so i think people like that they need to be talked to mm -hmm. like serious counseling at least inawapatia motisha if someone tells you you are ugly just know we are beautifully made mm -hmm. if someone tells you how easy just know you you can everything mm -hmm. is possible yeah mm. that means near to kuna kili focus very very focused because there are people who tell you not nice things they are there and there are some <laughs> of them who are very happy to tell you those things hmm. hashtag is quite in the morning aya how do you reach out to people maybe when you're experiencing gender based violence are there centers that you affiliated with is in my NGO. Yeah, there are some of the rescue centers. 
zenye watu wenye wameenda goji bv wanaenda like kama mtu amechoka kuchapwa na bwana yake they can go to rescue centers and also if if someone needs support legal support there is an organization called crew i can give you the number in case of any form of violence you can call 0800 700 186 the toll free number yeah okay. it's a toll free one number. more time sorry 0800 700 186 okay yeah i'm a very 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 practical person so i like stories do you have any you know adventures ama incidences yani hizo vitu umepata nazo kwa ground ndo yeah so there's sometimes back last year mm -hmm. kuna msichana mwenye alirepiwa Oi. na babake Oi. and ah. it was very traumatic ah. mm -hmm. so at the end of your process ya kurepiwa akapata ball plus hiv ah. alikuwa 2020 mrefu mm -hmm. so it was very sad receiving the news and unfortunately she committed suicide oh yeah oh so i really don't know why people don't speak out when someone undergoes a kind of rape because immediately <laughs> and get report hange fika to the extent ni amepata ball angeokolewa angepelekwa hosi apewe pep asikuwe na HIV, asikuwe na ball. So ange unajua tena kwa kijiji si unaelewa tu mm. kwa community. For example, majirani wakianza kukongea vibaya, you will feel bad. Ukipita kwa njia unachekwa wewe ndio ulirepona babako. I think that is the reason why she committed suicide. I see nothing funny about that, but again, people no longer what talk on my sister's house so kabla kuja kucheke there's something disturbing them yeah. not that i'm excusing you but it's okay now i have a question yeah. Joe, kuna story in mesoma not just the other day a few weeks ago mm -hmm. i think even last week if i'm not wrong kuna kijana flani alikuwa somea kisi somebody kisi school someone kisi yes so kijana apparently alikuwa anaenda either prep ama class mkutukayo but alikuwa amechelewa so when the teacher asked are you late? Akajam, akatoa kisu kwa siji socks na kamdunga. So hiyo mm -hmm. kumdunga anajaribu oh kuji protect so another teacher comes into the picture anajaribu ku break up the fight. But also he missed up. So it ended up one of them had to have surgery the other one minor injuries. Now today I think I don't even know what happened to that one. I think he's under arrest somewhere. Mm -hmm. How do we help? Like what's what's going on? Not just to know two bit of mm -hmm. Like we're just seeing very extreme reactions. Like how, how do you tell? I think it falls back to the parents. Vile pia wana raise watoto wao. Ju maybe mtu wana undergo vitu zake personally, but hataki ku speak out. Mm -hmm. So inaenda ikim, aki digest, aki digest. At the end of the day, say ni inalipuka, mm -hmm. ata ye mwenyewe hadru. Because uneza stukia mtu wana sema, I don't even remember doing anything. Like one minute, two, I me jam. Then the next thing, things have happened. I'm only an idea. I'm really glad you're here today because topic here to tunajare bukfikiria why there is so much unrest kwa mashule. Because Jana just yesterday alone, kwa ni yuzi mo na shule mbili. Sijua mechoma nini, sijua ni dom, ama classes. Ni mesoma tu sai ingine embu mahali wa mechoma dom na vitu kama hizo. Like what's going on? I I understand. Okay, kwa story ni yuzi wale kwa nasema. Perhaps there are psychological issues going on. Like we told one PTA time here, COVID-19, when they were at home. Because we've been home for almost nine months, you yeah, know. That's yeah. just a long time. And with people losing jobs, and that's parents, or, you know, caregivers, or breadwinners. So, in Abidi, maybe, kwa nyumba, kila mtu nipaka kuna hasole yake. Yeah. Yeah, everyone has to bring something to the table. Now, by the time una rudishule, some rudishule, it's very extreme, you know. For a long time, at Jazoya, it's true, but for months and months and months, to me, funny, to me, hustle, to me, jaripo, to me, nangana. Now that we're back to school, suddenly, to not have a uniform at five, so you could talk as you and five, finally, can I excuse them? Because that's 
sounds a little bit like indiscipline, but I also want to understand you miss you Kenya na pity home. Yeah, but kuna counseling sessions zenye I think shule zinafa ku implement. Yeah, shule ata walimu how are we going to get counselors? Mm. I think kwa every school wanafaku kwa at least na one counselor. Mm -hmm. Mwenye at least anaongea na watu, they open up, mm -hmm. wanasema challenges zenye wana face. You know, at, at the end of the day, uki open up kwa mtu ina, ina, yani ina shuka kidogo. As in, atu, auta kwa na stress. Mm -hmm. Yes. Nataka story ngini, but kabla tufike hapo, remember you are watching us on Over in the Morning, the latest perfect show in this here town. You can find us at White 5 on Facebook, Y254 channel on Twitter. We are asking you how you're feeling about all the unrest in schools currently. Sijui kama ni exams in a sumbwa watu, akili, because they're coming up in March. I don't know really. What What do you think? Let us know. Use the hashtag Y in the Morning. Eh, ni exams, mafanya bevivi. I love that. I love that. I love that. What's the problem? I want to believe this can be fixed, but I, I don't understand where the problem is coming from. Like, should we just sit and talk? Yeah, because it is a, an imagining issue. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we are the CGV future of tomorrow. We are yeah, the leaders of, of today, even. <laughs> tomorrow, today. And if we're excusing them for doing things like this, na pia tukiwa judge sana, unajua watu ja solve kitu. Unaza piga mtoto adi ya choke, but we've still not figured out what they're doing. Ata tu saa hii, nimetuwa kusoma the second page of how Izo Karuramadas mwenye alikuwa na somali confess and killed his family single-handedly. Tuchu ali watch movie. Imagine. What's going on? What what? In fact, that is, is that not gender-based violence? It's <laughs> just in reverse. Ni mtoi sasa na violence wakubwa. Wazazi. That was not English. But forgive me, my point has been made. Uh, so, si sayi hata wazazi wanaogopa, ukikachi ni umewatch siri sana na kuwana kuwa. Kwaani ukona plans gani wewe? Aki. What do we do? Should we stop watching? Like, tufanya nini? What do you think? I think, what do Hawaii stop watch mm -hmm. movies? But people should start watching positive movies. Is <laughs> 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 negative news? negative thoughts, mm -hmm. bad thoughts, mm -hmm. uh, suicide. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, uneza kuwa ne, kama wewe kijana, uanze kuwa watu mm -hmm. unknowingly. Mm -hmm. But I think kwa mesema, akili yake hayuko sawa. Eh, so. Yeah, he has been determined, mentally unstable. So ata mweka madhari for a bit. So to pelaka kila mtu madhari ama tunasema nini hapa is going on. Guys, what is going on? <laughs> Hashtag is why in the morning. I, uh, I wanted another story in place, story in Guinea. Yeah, violence. Yeah, the things that you've experienced. So, at our community, you find kuna mze na ameoa, but akotu kwa pombe 24-7. Mm -hmm. So, kuna tuseme December kulikuwa na jirani tu bwana anaenda analewa ujue time ya covid akukuwa na jobs many people wali lose jobs zao so ilibaki tu tukai nyumbani so unapata baba mama watoto home but sasa at the end of the day father ndio breadwinner wa hao mm -hmm. so yeye ndiye anataka kanalete food akirudi home mkono empty bibi anamuuliza kwani leo hatukuli what's what's not happening so in a cause kama vile december kulikuwa kuna yenye scenario yenye nili watch huko tu kwa kijiji ili end up huyu mbaba akapiga huyu mama juya wapi chakula hana kitu ya kutoa mm -hmm. so ili endelea for at least nikisema three days mm -hmm. akichapwa juu bwana anamwambia kazi ilisha unataka nitoe wapi nini pesa na sasa hiyo he's drunk so sijui pesa ya pombe alitoa wapi ama alikuwa kabeiwa mm -hmm. so the second time huyu mama alichapwa alivunjika mkono so ameenda ako disabled because of huyu mbaba akuja mm -hmm. anamchapa anamwambia ndatoa wapi pesa but akimuuliza sasa na pombe umetoa wapi inakuwa ni kama ni 
movie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. So as we are speaking right now, the woman, Mukono Ilivunjika, half upper. You see that? Yes. So you can see the effects that GBV is causing permanent disability. Can you always reverse? So as we get to them to Mukono Ikwe, sour. Okay. Yeah. I am hearing a lot of frustration. Pia kuna time last year and miskia mali tu skumbu kilikumta again. But apparently watu walikuwa azozana asubui wakitoka situ ya kienda job. By the time your story likuwa naisha, mtu walikuwa mechomwa ndani ya gari yaki. Inside. In fact, I remember being very confused because gari nje iko sawa. Ndani ndo kumechomeka. Eee, mechomeka na mtu ndani, lakini nje iko sawa. I say, what kind of hasira is this? Like, where? Okay. When you want to watch, say, to say, hmm? either aneza kwanie akona hasira, mm -hmm. na hajui kuitoa, ama mm -hmm. hajui kuikontrol, mm -hmm. ama ni mtu, maybe ama experience hasira, na hajui venya ta deal na ayo. Mm -hmm. So, maybe, natika wa advise wote, maybe, neza anza na mwenye nataka, but I want everyone to be, to feel like to you know, like you're yeah. not alone, Akina, you're really not. Mm -hmm. I'd like to tell you that Maisha is but control your anger. It's good to always control your anger, and you will regret, na maybe kitu ni mefanya. Utala anaji kukontrol, kama everyone around you, maybe umezalia kwa atuwa kona asira. How am I now supposed to magically be the calm one? I think uneza in the counseling sessions, mm -hmm. uneza kuku advice about how to control your anger. So what we will see, do you see it happening? Yes. Uh -huh. If it is a person willing, she will go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And what would you like to tell someone who is ako apo ndani ya hasira hata anaogopa kupumua sana you know just in case ambao unapo you are breathing loudly bye so how how do we tell that person how how to cope you know so maybe ako in a situation aja aja ji how to how to say like it's not their fault they are easy talker to of you you so how to help someone like that so first and foremost neza ambayo you say Aonge mungu sana, I'm saying the empathy of grace, yeah, <laughs> control anger. Ju, some things are beyond our means. Ju, tseme, for example, ume zaliwa na sira, and ume zaribu kukontrol na haiwezi. Ama mwenye ato uji yuko na sira? Eh. Ni watu tu wanze wana kuangalia le ebra. Mbo wame jam. Why are you always angry? What's going on? It's always good when I ask God for guidance akupati sufficient grace ile mm -hmm. ku control asira yako mm -hmm. then the day hiyo asira inaweza kukufanya uwe mtu mm -hmm. ufanye kitu yenye haunge haunge plan kufanya yeah. what happens kama mimi ni ni student mm -hmm. i am at the mercy of the people who are taking care of me tuseme hata si lazima uko wazazi maybe it's niko kwa auntie ama uncle ama mm -hmm. tumali kwa my relatives but they are abusing me at some form or manner, if it's emotional, social, economical, if it's physical. And see, they talk about how many skills in life, you know. How many people pay school fees? They are giving me food and all these things. Bad conditions, but they are giving me basics. So how do I cope as a student? Do you see any chance of it to shule? I think, kwa situation kama iyo, we have rescue centers where at least uneza toka kama labda mtu wana kwa abuse ineza kwa physically, sexually you can call the toll free number upelekwe ukae for tuseme three months juu wako it is a safe space tuseme ukae tu hapo at least ufoka skidogo unwind na I think ita kwa much help is a rescue center three months like they give you Basic amenities, food, yeah, shelter. Yeah, food, shelter, for free. clothing, yes. Hmm. Kenyans like free things, but when <laughs> it becomes too good, <laughs> what do they want in return? Okay, maybe, you can tell me, you can tell me your toll-free number, I love for any other information where people can reach out and get help. Okay, the toll-free number for crew is 0800-700-186. And also there's a number for Red Cross that is 1199 in case of 
any form of violence, yes. Okay, and how do we find you on social media? Uh, on Instagram, I'm trophy underscore Michi underscore. On Facebook, I'm trophy Michi. <laughs> Thank you for coming to film it. I like your handle. Okay. salamu ya mwisho ya kusema. Yeah, I'd like to greet my friends, my colleagues at Hope Alloy Kenya. My son, I know he's watching. Oh, anaitwa nani? <laughs> anaitwa Adrian. Hi Adrian. And my mom and brother at home. Mm -hmm. And all the organizations that are working hard towards ending gender-based violence. You're doing an amazing job. Keep it up. Can we also thank you for doing what you're doing? Thank sure. you. Also, you keep it up. Thank We're you. proud of you. Thank All you. right, there you have it. One a trophy, me, Chamekujama, to bless us some information on gender based violence, which I'm, I'm thinking subsequently is quite connected to our topic of the day, which is do, why do you think that students are getting a bit unruly in school? Is it pressure from exams? Is it psychological issues? Is it anxiety? What is going on? At Twitter, from Facebook, Y254 channel, on Twitter, hashtag is Y in the morning. Don't go away. We are almost done.